Attention, the following video involves tanks pounding one another to dust. If you enjoy any of it and or enjoy boobs on women, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Agonizer, and today I'm doing the VK3601 on episode 4 of the depot. So, this tank has 760 hit points, uh, 40 speed limit, uh, sort of slow for a tank of its caliber on tier 6, and it's a medium. Standard shell damage goes 83 to 138, and the standard shell pen is 80 to 133. The hull armor is 160 and 60, and the turret is 180, 80. Alright. So, right now I have a stock gun on this. It's a tier 5, 75mm gun. I'm aiming for this gun right here, the 88mm. No turrets, and the engine's not upgraded, but I do have the tracks and the tier 6 radio. So, just take a look at the tech tree here. Well, take a look at the research tree. Um, the main goal here is to get the tracks and all this right here. The good part about this tank is uh, I didn't get it with the 75% crew because I had the money and right now it is discounted for 467,000 credits from the original 935,000 credits. Uh, this is only on the weekend of September 8th, 2012. So, I didn't do well in the last battle I was in. It's not showing up here, but uh, it's a decent tank. I like it. The engine placement's amazing for uh, not getting shot in the engine here, guys. Alright, so let's just go ahead and hit battle here. We're going to get, a, hopefully, a decent game to show off this tank and what it can do with a tier 5 cannon. I didn't get an amazing game. I am at the bottom of the list. Uh, not going to do much here, but I guess that's the only thing that I'm going to have to work around is uh, me recording these kinds of games. So, if you guys see uh, me do pretty bad in this game, don't really focus it on me. Focus it on the matchmaking. And the kind of game I got into. As you can see though, it's uh, a decent looking tank also in the game. I have a crosshair mod now. Um, but yeah, I like the tank look. It sits pretty well next to this little low right here. Um, but the T3485 is right next to me and that thing is, can really kill me. Uh, I'm just going to turn my game settings down here for a second. Alright, so... Uh, this tank is more of a sniper role, so what you want to do when you're sniping is sit back with this tank and really let the power gun, power of the gun show what it can do. But, I am a stock cannon, so it's not going to do much. I can just sort of work around some of the kinks and I have in this video right now, and uh, maybe I'll do a redemption of this tank later on in the series, or maybe I'll just do a bonus episode with the upgraded gun. But for now, uh, we're going to take a look around here. And by the way, guys, doing a bonus episode on the uh, tier, the 8.0 tests here soon. I'm going to upload a nice video of that just so I can make you guys feel a little bit special uh, seeing some of the tier 10 tanks out in action. And some of the physics from 8.0 being introduced. So let's bust through right here. Hit this T-59. And I would miss here. Alright guys, so the accuracy is pretty well when you're not moving. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here and hit this guy if he doesn't move behind the building, which he does. So you can't, you see I cannot pan a Type 59 in the tracks, or maybe I didn't hit the tracks exactly. Um, but it's something you're going to have to work around when you're going for these higher tier tanks, is sometimes they're not going to have the uh, power you need them to. So I was thinking about sneaking right through here and hitting him through this, but it wasn't going to happen. And I also noticed that this tank has a really good power from the other end. Um, the only bad thing is it can only take shots to the front from tier 5 and some of the sucky tier 10s. Well, sucky tier 8s, I said tier 10s for some reason. And the sucky tier 6s and stuff like that. Like a KB-1 will bounce off me almost instantly. Alright, 102 damage to a Type 59 isn't bad for a Tier 5, a tier 6 tank hitting it. But, it's not going to be great until you get the 88, which will do the 220 damage you're looking for in this low tier of a tank. Uh, as you're about to see, though, I probably can't pen any of the heavies on the other team. Especially the uh, AMXM4 or the low. 
The T-34 might be an exception, and the T-29, I know I can pen. Not much damage there, though. So let's pop out right here, and it looks like the Super Pershing's right in front of him, so I'll pop a shot up on him. Nope. I uh, love the front mounted turret on this. That's a really good feature they add to some of these higher tanks. The front mounted turrets, you can sort of peek a little bit more than the other people can. So you're doing this more often. And taking shots. So, I thought I'd go out and point out a couple of things about 8.0 that uh, some people were asking. Is, will the f are the physics fixed or like they're going to mess up penetration? They are going to mess up penetration badly. Uh, penetration's pretty screwed up right now on uh, 8.0, as I'll show you here soon in the next video, probably for the bonus episode. And the tier 10 tanks really do have an, an amazing quality with physics is uh they can run over the edges i mean it's not like a t50 or an elc jumping themselves off in the physics test the f only the physics test and tracking themselves now you can actually jump and not kill yourself uh from a lot higher places so i did not as i said you guys did not pin the super person and the low was waiting on me so let me know what you what tank you guys think I should do next? Uh, anything on either of the accounts you'll see. Maybe I'll upload some screenshots of my two service records uh, to show you what tanks that I could buy for you guys. All right, guys, this has been Agonizer, and from the World of Tanks Depot, thanks for watching this video.